Hello everyone, welcome to Boundless Dentistry. In this introductory lecture, the topic that we will talk about is on Introduction to Dental Anatomy. The things that we will cover in this particular video will be what is actually dental anatomy. We will also discuss what are the different types of teeth that are present in the oral cavity. We will also discuss how individual teeth is numbered in the oral cavity. Furthermore, we will discuss the different parts of the teeth like the crown portion and the root portion of our teeth and then we will divide each of the structure into in individual parts like how a crown is divided for our easiness as to how we can study them and also same goes for the root. We will also talk about different surfaces of our teeth and we will talk about uh, different definitions that are present in the dental anatomy such as what's tubercle, cingulum, ridge and etc. And finally we will end this video with how and we will end this video by defining the different angles that are present in the state. So let's get started. Now covering the first topic of our unit, before we talk about anything that is related to dental anatomy, first we, will, we have to ask ourselves what is actually dental anatomy because if you know what is dental anatomy only then you can study the tooth structure and learn the different functions of the teeth and what actually the tooth does in the oral cavity. So let's start defining the what's dental anatomy first. So I'm gonna draw a little structure of a tooth. So this is the crown portion of the tooth and this is a root of a teeth. Okay. So now defining what's dental anatomy. Dental anatomy is basically the study of development, morphology, function and identity of each individual tooth that is present in the human dentation and we will also talk about how the tooth is present in the oral cavity and the shape, form, structure, color of each teeth that is present in the dental arch and in the opposite dental arch as well because uh, one set of tooth is present in the mandible and the other set of tooth is present in the maxilla. Moving on, talking about the second objective of our video of the day, we will talk about what are the different types of teeth that are present in the oral cavity. As an individual is born, the first teeth that erupt in the oral cavity are known as the primary teeth. Okay. These are the primary teeth. The primary teeth are the first teeth that up, uh, erupts in an individual at about age of six months. But note this can vary. This uh, period can vary as long as 12 months of age. So the and like normally the uh, the primary teeth erupt around the age of six months, and the eruptions continue continue up till the age of 2.5 years old. Again, this can also vary, so this is not a fixed value, but this is normally observed in children as we, in epidemiological studies, it has been noted. Okay, now secondly, the second uh, teeth that, uh, that are present in the oral cavity are known as the permanent teeth. Now, these, this, these are the teeth that erupt at the age of 6 years old and normally they complete their eruption by the age of 12 years old. Again, no, these two values are also variable, this is not fixed. Okay, now the primary teeth complete the eruption around at the age of 2.5 years old. Now, these total teeth are 20 in number in the oral cavity. These are 20 teeth that are present. Now, at the age of about um, 6 years old, the permanent teeth starts to erupt. Now, how do they erupt? They basically erupt by forcing themselves into the oral cavity and uh, ex exfoliating the primary teeth that are already present in the positions. So at the age of, and we'll talk about uh, much detail in future videos about how the teeth actually erupt, how primary teeth is shed and how the permanent teeth erupts in the oral cavity and take their respective positions. We will talk about that in our further videos. So at the age of about six years old, the permanent teeth starts to erupt in the oral cavity, and by the age of um, 12 years old, normally the eruption of permanent teeth is completed except the third molars. Third molars generally erupt around the age of 18 years old till about the age of 20 to 22 years old. This period can also vary because 
the eruption time is not fixed in every individual each individual teeth varies in its eruption time in every individual even in the same mouth of the individual so this this is a, this value of eruption is generally given in a range it's not fixed okay so by the age of 12 years old 28 permanent teeth have erupted in the oral cavity except the third molars which erupt at the age of about 18 to 20, 20 years old and then the final 32 as we've all heard multiple times 32 teeth are present in the oral cavity and these are the permanent teeth now note these 32 teeth are not always present in every individual this can also vary and i'll tell you how this varies the basic and uh, and i'll tell you how these vary these basically vary because in some individual teeth are missing the, there's not a particular cause why they are missing but this is just genetical how they are missing so in for example in some individuals the maxillary lateral are missing in some individual third molars are missing these are some of the most common teeth that are uh, missing in the oral cavity we will talk about in further videos how which teeth are missing and what's the reason if any behind the missing of this tooth uh now moving on we'll talk about some nomenclature of the teeth that are present in the oral cavity nomenclature basically means how we name the teeth and their respective position in the oral cavity now uh talking about a nomenclature we have two sets of teeth that are present in the oral cavity the first teeth that are present on you can see on your uh upside of your mouth like uh, there are called as maxillary teeth they are present in the structure known as maxilla the upper teeth are present in the maxilla we call it and the second set of teeth that are present in our jaws the lower jaw is known as the mandibular teeth they are present in the structure known as mandible so we have two sets of teeth one set is present in the maxilla the upper teeth and the second set of teeth are present in the mandible mandible which is the lower teeth and together these constitute the uh, total number of teeth if they are in primary they are 20 and if they are in the permanent dentition they are 32 so these are the two sets of teeth that are present in the oral cavity okay now talking about different types of teeth that are present in the oral cavity we have three types of teeth that are present in the oral cavity we have the we have the incisors okay then we have premolars now note premolars are not present in the permanent dentition premolars are only present in the permanent dentition and the last set of teeth are known as molars incisors and molars are present in both the permanent dentition as well as the primary dentition only premolars are that set of teeth that are present only in the permanent dentition and they don't they are not present in the primary dentition that's the major difference now the names of these teeth is also different because their structure is different how they look in the oral cavity so now we'll talk about how these teeth look in the oral cavity there are certain differences so first talking about the incisors what are in what incisors actually look like and in future videos we'll talk in deep in much much detail about every certain aspect related to each incisor that is present in the oral cavity so a uh, incisor is generally a uh, small tooth it's not a big tooth like the molar or premolar so general structure of an incisor represents like something like this we have the crown portion of the tooth which is visible in the oral cavity and then we have this root please ignore my drawing it's not that good but anyhow this is what a incisor basically looks like in the oral cavity now note there's a certain difference in the incisor of maxilla and mandible the incisor that is present in the maxilla is a bit larger as compared to the incisor that is present in the mandible but we'll talk about that more detail in further videos so not to worry about so this is how an incisor looks like in the oral cavity next talking about how an premolar looks like in the oral cavity it's a bit it's a bit uh, larger than what an incisor looks like in all dimension as in the front view back view and the sides these are layman terms we'll talk about proper terms how we describe each view of a tooth so talking about premolar premolar is generally larger as compared to incisor it looks something like this we have the crown portion of the tooth 
and then we have this root now note incisors normally just have one root uh, as compared to other tooth premolar and molars however can have more than one root present in the oral cavity it's not visible in the oral cavity but it's it's embedded in either in maxilla or in the mandible depending on the location of that tooth so premolar talking in talking a very very basic overview of a premolar premolar is generally larger than incisor and it's and but it's smaller than molar so and when I, and i'm going to stress on this point again and again premolar is only present in the permanent dentition it's not present in the primary dentition okay now talking about the second the th sorry the third type of teeth that is present in the oral cavity is known as molars molars are the largest tooth that are present in the oral cavity they are present in both the primary dentition as well as the permanent dentition so giving you a general outline how molar looks like molar looks like something like this uh it generally has more than one root this is how a molar looks like it has more than one root and the crown is larger it's larger than premolars and obviously larger than the incisors so we have talked about different sets of teeth that are different types of teeth that are present in the oral cavity we have the incisors then we have premolars and then we finally have molars all these type of teeth are present in the permanent dentition but incisors and molars are are those teeth that are present in the primary dentition only primary dentition doesn't have premolars okay now moving along now the third uh, part of this video that we'll discuss is the numbering system numbering system basically what is a numbering system numbering system is basically we have assigned or we have you know yeah, we have assigned an individual number to each tooth that is present in the oral cavity that that is for the easiness of us the dental surgeons basically for example i say the tooth number 2 and the tooth number 2 anywhere around the world everyone knows that is the in the universal number system it's the maxillary second molar so everywhere in the world this two number tooth everyone knows which tooth is and this is basic this basically creates easiness for everyone so that there is no confusion in understanding the term so before uh, talking about numbering system there are, there is a formula that is present for the primary and permanent dentition that we have to know and i'll explain you how this formula works so first uh, talking about the primary dentition sorry uh we talking about the primary dentition the formula that is represents the primary dentition is by i i meaning incisor 2 over 2 i'll tell you what 2 over 2 means then c c is the canine which is also a type of incisor that is present and it, it has a formula of 1 over 1 then we have m m meaning molar and it's 2 over 2 this formula is for primary dentition now i'll tell you what this means 2 over 2 2 over 2 basically means that the dash that is present between them it separates it the 2 this 2 basically means the maxilla this incisor represents maxilla and this means mandible this goes for all of the uh, for canines and molars the upper part represents the maxillary teeth and the lower uh, number represents the mandibular teeth and if you add all of them it equals to 20 so canine 1 over 1 1 canine is present in the upper side and lower on the lower side and this is just of half of the arch like if you add all of them it equals to 10 i think yeah 10 and if you add both of them it give you a grand total of 20 So this is the entire primary dentition represented by this formula. This formula basically it's a generalized formula, it's a standard formula, you know, so that you can remember the different teeth that are present in the oral cavity and the number of teeth that are present in the oral cavity. So this was about the primary dentition. Now same talking same thing about the permanent dentition. Now for permanent dentition, the formula is a bit changed. because firstly there is introduction of premolars here and secondly the number of teeth is also greater as compared to the primary teeth so the formula that that is for the permanent dentition is 
i 2 over 2 c that is k 9 1 over 1 now premolar that is 2 over 2 and molar that is 3 over 3 now look the premolars are now additional stuff here as come and the primary dentition this wasn't present now in the permanent dentition this is present now molars there is an also uh, two more molars on each side that is present more in the permanent dentition as compared to the primary dentition so this gives us a grand total of 32 teeth that is, that is present in the primary dentition sorry the permanent dentition so this is all about the formula of the formula that is for the primary as well as for the permanent dentition okay now talking about the numbering system the numbering system is a bit different as compared to primary dentition as in permanent dentition primary dentition has a different set of um, numbering system and permanent teeth has a different set of numbering system so first talking about the primary dentition basically there are normally two two types of numbering system that are used in primary dentition one is the universal numbering system sorry the first is the universal numbering system and the second is Palmer numbering system the first is universal and the second is Palmer now in uh, primary dentition we basically use alphabets to represent each tooth so let's see how that happens now human dentition is divided into four quadrants by quadrants I mean like this this is the right side and this is the left side these this represents the I'm, I'm gonna write max means maxilla and mand means mandible the upper side represents the maxillary teeth and the lower side represents the mandibular teeth and this is the right hand the right side and this is the left side so this is how we divide the human dentition into four quadrants and further dividing it into maxillary and mandibular teeth and then dividing into right and left side so we'll talk up first we'll talk about how the universal numbering system works for the primary dentition so I'm gonna write down universal numbering system okay now the universal numbering system for the primary dentition works in a very simple way we start from the right hand side right maxillary we write a b c d e that's it that's how we write it and this is the midline the this dividing section is the midline of the two and now from e we start from f g h and g h i j this is this completes the maxillary teeth and then and then sorry till j this is the maxillary teeth and and then we take it down starting from this left hand side in the mandibular and continue from there from k l m n and o this completes the uh, left hand side of the mandibular teeth and then we take it around here till p q r s and t that's it this is the entire universal numbering system that is used for the primary dentition we start from the right hand side in the maxilla a b c d e we have the midline then we continue f g h j and then from the mandible we also continue from left hand side all the way till the right hand side now you can remember this numbering system easily for universal system by you start with a and it should end till t if it ends till t you know you have done everything right for the universal numbering system from the primary dentition okay now we'll use the same quadrants and now we'll talk about the Palmer system that is used for this perm primary dentition so I'm gonna write it down the Palmer numbering system it's also very simple it doesn't have much variation but one thing is different about it again this is the right side this is the left side <coughs> and now 
this and now in this particular thing we start from the midline we write a b c d and e now note we will not start all over again from f g h now from this left hand side we will again write a b c d and e same goes for the mandible as well and th this this is the difference between the universal and the primary uh, palmer uh, numbering system in universal numbering system we start from a b c d all the way till t and for the palmer we just write these five letters for each quadrant and now you might be confused as to how we'll represent this in the when we'll write it down like how we'll know which side is this or which teeth is this so for example you want to write down the maxillary uh, central incisor of the left hand side so if you want to write it down you will write it down like this you will write a a means the maxillary incisor maxillary no, it generally means any incisor it's the first incisor a and now you will if you want to represent the left uh, side maxillary incisor you will simply put a line like this this means the tooth is of the uh, left side and the, if the lower line this line I'm talking about this line if this line is present below the letter this means that tooth is of the maxillary side okay and if I want to do the same thing for the mandibular teeth I'll simply write it down like this a and now I'll write it down like this now note if this line is present above the letter it definitely means that the tooth belongs to the mandibular teeth this is how you can remember the palmer numbering system so this this was a two type of numbering system that are used for the primary dentition and honestly the, uh, there's not much variation if you if use the same thing for the uh, permanent dentition the only thing that varies is instead of uh, alphabets now we will use numbers to represent each tooth so let's see how it's done uh, talking about the permanent dentition I'll write it down here talking about the permanent dentition there are three sets of uh, numbering system that are used first is the universal numbering system I'll write it down here again for you we have the universal numbering system we have the Palmer numbering system and then finally we have a third set of numbering system that wasn't present in the primary dentition it's present in the permanent dentition and it's called as FDI these are the three sets of uh, numbering system that are used in the permanent dentition talking of uh, the universal and Palmer system is exactly the same as for the uh, primary dentition FDI is a bit different and we'll talk about universal and Palmer first basically universal is universal numbering system for the permanent dentition is very similar the only difference that you will note here is that instead of alphabets now we will have the numbers so again I'll make the quadrants for you this is the quadrant this is the right hand side this is the left hand side and now we'll start from the right side one two three four five and six and we will continue continue writing that all till 8 then the 8 all the way till 16 then from 16 we'll write down 17 and from 17 we'll end up here at 24 and then till 32 you know what I'm trying to say right here this represent all the way and all the numbers same same for the uh, primary de primary dentition like in primary dentition we also use alphabet like one a b c d e and then in permanent dentition we are using one two three one till all the way till 32 you have to note that from one till 32 you have to mention all the numbers this is the universal numbering system and uh, for example if i want to say what's number one for permanent dentition we can say the number one is basically the maxillary third molar and if i want to say what's the what's eight eight basically in universal numbering means that it's the maxillary central incisor of the right hand side you can call it that and for the palmer system it's also pretty similar as we discussed for the primary dentition there is the, the same difference that is present here is the instead of alphabets now we're going to use 
numbers so I'm gonna write Palmer here so that we know we are talking about Palmer same again and now we will <coughs> write it down like this one two three four five six and seven eight similar thing we are gonna write for, right fill here four five six seven eight and same goes for the mandibular teeth now again how we will represent the teeth if we are talking about the palm uh, the palmar system for the permanent dentition we will simply write, write it down like if you want to talk about central incisors you will write one and if you are talking about the maxillary central incisor you know how I told you like you will write li line like this if you want to talk about right hand side you will do like this if the line is present uh, if the uh, letter is present below if the line is present below the letter so you mean it's the maxillary and if you want to talk about the left hand side you will simply simply do like this and if you want to do the same thing for the mandibular tooth you will write like one and you will make the bracket like this or you can make the bracket like this depending on if you're talking about the right hand side or the left hand side so this was the palmer system of for the permanent dentition lastly talking about the uh, FDI system that is new that wasn't present in the uh, primary dentition so talking about the FDI system and FDI system is is also used frequently like the universal numbering system FDI is also used frequently there but there are certain differences as to how we call out the number of individual tooth so there are certain differences so if you are using for the permanent dentition we make a bracket like this again and there is one thing that you have to remember here if you are talking about the right hand side maxilla you first write write it down like this one 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 and now you will write like this one 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 two one three one four five six seven and eight also so and if you're talking about the left hand side you will first write the first letter you will write the first number two 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 and so on now you will write here after two just like this same one two three as we did for the right hand side and all the way till uh, eight now for the mandibular <coughs> Uh, left hand side you will first write 3 3 3 3 okay and uh, and all the way till 8 now you will add 1 2 3 4 and up till 8 and for the mandibular right hand side you will first write down 4 4 4 4 4 4 and then after 4 you will <coughs> repeat what you have did above one two three four five six and all the way till eight this is how you will do now this is how you uh, do the FDI numbering system for the permanent dentition for the uh, right hand side first you write down one 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 basically means that it's the first letter of the maxillary right hand side teeth one 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 and then after one you write down one two three all the way till eight and for the left hand side of maxillary teeth, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 represents the maxillary left hand side of it. And after 2, you write down 1, 2, 3, 4, up to the 8. And for the mandibular left hand side, you first write the 3. 3 represents the, the you, can, you can say it's the identity of, max, of the mandibular left hand side. You first write 3, 3, 3, 8 threes, And then after 3, you write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. Like you did for the above quadrant. And for finally for the... Uh, right mandibular side you first write down four uh, the fourth like I wrote it down eight times four and then after four you repeat one two three all the way till eight so this is how you do the uh, FDI numbering system for the permanent dentition uh, for the primary dentition we use normally we use uh, universal numbering system and the Palmer numbering system FDI can also be applied to the uh, primary dentition but it's not used very frequently as compared to the universal and uh, uh, palmar numbering system for uh, permanent dentition we use a uh, universal numbering system uh, palmar numbering system and the fdi numbering system and i have explained uh, all this uh, to you guys